So very good morning. We come to the next topic and uh, perusal of uh, community medicine lectures. So today we'll be having a topic discussion on not so discussed uh, topic in community medicine that is waste and waste management. So point number one, let's talk directly upon the MCQs. Let's talk about the MCQ number one. What are the types of waste? We know only two types of waste. We know one is a liquid waste and we know one is something a uh, solid waste. Solid waste is further classified into three types. Solid waste could be rubbish, garbage or ash. So what is garbage? What is rubbish? What is ash? We'll just have one one word about all these. Liquid waste is of further two types. It could be a sewage or it could be sullage. So let us see what are the MCQs on this, on this point. So what is garbage? Anything which is from the kitchen which is organic waste, anything which is organic waste is known as garbage like peels of potato, peels of onion, anything which is uh, which can be which is organic in nature that is known as garbage. Anything which is non-organic or inorganic in nature like paper, metal, uh, wood, furniture, anything that is rubbish. So this is also known as MCQ. This is also known as a household waste. This is also known as a organic waste. Ash is nothing but a powder waste, which is powder form. Sewage, one point only, it contains what? It contains fecal matter. So it contains fecal matter. Sullage is non-fecal liquid waste. So non-fecal liquid waste is known as sullage. Next MCQ that we get is directly upon what are the ways of waste disposal. So next MCQ we need to discuss about waste disposal techniques. But before we discuss about the waste disposal we need to understand how good is your sewage or how strong is your sewage. So this can be assessed by the strength of the sewage or the quality of the sewage has to be assessed depending on biological oxygen demand, chemical oxygen demand. So what is BOD? It is biological oxygen demand or chemical oxygen demand. So what is biological oxygen demand? It is the amount of oxygen, it is the amount of oxygen which is consumed by 100 grams of waste or sewage matter at a specified pH and at a specified temperature for a specified time. So at in, in controlled settings at specified temperature, time and pH, what is the amount of oxygen which is consumed by 100 gram of sewage would tell you about the BOD. The BOD can be further classified into whether the BOD is mild, moderate or strong. So strong sewage is with a BOD of 100 grams and uh, mild is less than 100 and moderate is 100 to 500 grams. So that is mild, moderate and strong and chemical is chemical oxygen demand based on the chemical which is consumed by a specified gram of sewage. Next we talk about, now we can discuss about the waste disposal techniques. So what are the techniques for waste disposal? The techniques for waste disposal are 1. Landfills Landfills 2nd it could be using uh, trickling filters trickling filters third oxidation pond oxidation 